Hi, Aaron here. Today, I want to talk about one of my favorite accessories for the 2018 Mac Mini. Now, I was looking for a USB hub for a long time, but none of them really looked very good sitting loosely on top of my Mac Mini, until I found the Satoshi USB-C stand and hub. Now, I've had this thing for months now, so I'm not going to do an unboxing. If you want to see the box, here it is. Here's what's inside it. The hub is packaged in here. It came with a little manual as well, which pretty much tells you the same stuff you can learn just by plugging the thing in and looking at it. You can see how it's designed to fit perfectly underneath with the Mac Mini sitting snugly on top of the hub. The colors don't match exactly to the space gray of the Mac Mini, but you'd have to be super anal to care about that sort of thing anyway. As you can see, the hub is powered by a single Thunderbolt 3 cable. The hub itself brings the 3.5mm headphone jack around to the front. It also gives us a full-size SD card slot and a micro SD card slot, as well as three USB type A slots and one single USB C slot. Lifting off the Mac, we can see the hub has vents on the side here, which also coincide with vents on the bottom of the hub and help dispel all that hot air. The Satoshi website does say the hub's USB A ports won't support the Apple SuperDrive or charge an iPad. I don't have a SuperDrive to test because who still uses discs in this day and age anyway, but I did plug in my iPad Pro to test it, and while the website is correct, you're not able to charge it, you're still able to access all the files through it on your Mac. Their website also says that the USB-C data port doesn't support charging, but I don't have any USB-C cables lying around so I wasn't able to test that. Both USB-A and C ports have a maximum speed of 5 megabytes per second, which is pretty standard for USB hubs. According to the website, the SD card slots have a maximum read speed of 104 megabytes per second, which isn't the fastest you can get, and it doesn't tell you what the write speed is, but I'm assuming it's going to be pretty much the same. And when I first got this unit, I thought there was something wrong with it because I couldn't get my SD card reader to work when inserting the card, but the micro SD card reader on top of it would work fine. That was until I realized you have to insert the SD card with the little copper elements facing upwards, so essentially upside down. Would have been great if you'd had mentioned this in the little manual the unit comes with, Satoshi. Well, that's it. That's all there is to say about it. Feel free to leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or feel like I've left anything out. If you liked the video, subscribe, like, and all that other stuff. If you didn't, then don't. And as always, thanks for watching.